Hey my friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So this is week three of September OMAD. We're doing OMAD one meal a day for the entire month of September and I am filming my meals exactly what I did in July, showing you guys what I eat every single night for one meal a day. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, be a part of my journey, allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds over my highest weight of 374. I have battled with obesity my entire life, so sharing all of my struggles with you guys, especially the mental parts, we really tackle the mental part of this journey. I am very real, I'm very upfront. I share all the good, all the bad, all the ugly of my weight loss journey. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables, come join us over there. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and ways to support me and my channel are down below. Greatly appreciated. All right guys, let's get into the video. Week three, what I ate on OMAD. All right, guys, so day 15 of OMAD, and tonight I am going out to eat. I'm going out to eat with my mom and my friend Donna. We're going to Applebee's. We're going to have some drinks and some dinner, and then we're going to go see a scary movie tonight. So I'm really excited for some girl time just away from the kids, and I'm really excited to eat because <laughs> I love going out to eat when I'm doing OMAD because it's like mm, my, my one meal can just be really good so I love to go to Applebee's and what I usually order is the um, oriental grilled chicken salad so I will probably get that and I may do some boneless buffalo wings as well with some ranch dressing and I am gonna get some popcorn at the movies because I can't go to go to the movies without getting popcorn and it's just so good so that's what I love about OMAD gives you a little bit more freedom to kind of eat what you want so I will uh, let you know for sure what I am eating tonight, but I'm excited to go out. See you later. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You're so pretty. Thanks. Yeah, we have like an option. You made me. I did. I know. <laughs> All right guys, so day 16 of OMAD. Last night was super fun, hanging out with the girls and the food was just so super yummy. I I just love it. I love it when that's my one meal. I just look forward to it and yeah, really, really good. I ate like about half of the salad and I had like a couple cups of popcorn. I brought the rest of the popcorn back for my kids so they were happy about that. So for today, I did my uh, normal coffees that I always do and around uh, five o'clock, I broke my fast with the rest of my salad from last night. So I did eat that and tonight we are keeping it super, super simple. We got a rotisserie chicken, heated that up up and I sauteed some zucchini and summer squash and I season it with salt and pepper and it's just really good. I don't cook it for very long so that it's still firm and crunchy. That's the way I like it. So that is what I had for day 16. Super simple. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, so it is day 17, and I'm excited about dinner tonight because it's something I haven't had in a really long time. Uh, but I had two iced coffees today. I actually got some Rocky Road uh, of the Sunday coffee that I love. I did get a big package of that, so I had an ice cream sandwich coffee this morning and a Rocky Road coffee this afternoon. And then around 4.45, I had my protein shake. So I did a uh, chocolate premier protein, and I poured that in 
and added some uh, unsweetened almond milk to that and then a splash of heavy cream uh, put some ice in there and just had a protein shake I added the almond milk and the heavy cream tonight uh, just to make it a little bit more creamier and I didn't want to have a third coffee today <laughs> at five o'clock like I did yesterday or the day before whatever day that was uh, so anyway that is what I had earlier I just finished that right now that's all gone and I'm getting ready uh, to cook dinner. So tonight we are having stuffing pie. So way back in the day when I used to do Atkins, uh, Linda's Low Carb Recipes was a, a website that I would go to a lot for all the Atkins recipes. And this was one of them and it's just really super yummy. And I haven't made it in a really long time and I really think the kids are gonna love it too because the when I made my sausage quiche, they really like that. So, and that's what it has sausage and ground turkey. So. Let's go ahead and look at the ingredients that you need to make this stuffing pie. And as always, all recipe links are down below. So let's go. All right, guys, so you need 20 ounces of ground turkey, uh, one pound of pork sausage. I am using Jimmy Dean hot sausage, super yummy. It does call for half a pound of fresh mushrooms, but bleh, <laughs> I don't like mushrooms, so I'm leaving that out. Two ounces of onion. I have a white onion here. One stalk of celery chopped up. Eight ounces of Monterey Jack cheese. Mm, and I love the taste of Monterey Jack cheese. I think that's what makes this uh, dish super yummy. Four eggs, a half a cup of heavy cream, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So let's go ahead and start cooking.
All right, guys, so for day 18, I broke my fast around 5.30 uh, with some slices of tomato and some baby carrots, and I put pink salt on the tomatoes, and it's just like super, super yummy. One of my favorite snacks, seriously. And for dinner, we had chicken wings, one of our favorite meals. Chris cooks them. He seasons it with salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning, and cooks it up in olive oil, fries it up so that it's super crispy. And then he tosses it in Frank's Red Hot Wings buffalo sauce, and yeah, it's just really, really good. This is seriously one of our favorites. And I always have it with Ken's Buttermilk Ranch Dressing. I had four chicken wings tonight uh, with some ranch dressing, and it was really, really super yummy. So that's it for day 18, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is day 19 of September OMAD and we're keeping things super simple over here again. Uh, but for my coffees today, I actually had three iced coffees. So I had uh, Rocky Road iced coffee this morning and then I had ice cream sandwich uh, for my afternoon coffee. And then I had a protein coffee again around 4.30 or maybe it was four. I think it was around four o'clock, which was ice cream sandwich coffee uh, plus a premier protein with a little bit of uh, unsweetened almond milk and a splash of heavy cream. I always look forward to my protein coffee. So I just broke my fast um, a little while ago. I had like six baby carrots. I don't, I'm just, I get obsessed with baby carrots when I do OMAD. And I definitely don't stay keto when I do OMAD because I do add those uh, extra veggies in. But tonight I'm doing what I have done so many other times before, super simple, and it's my tuna salad. So a can of tuna mixed with about a tablespoon of mayonnaise, some shredded mozzarella cheese, romaine lettuce, and some spicy banana peppers. One of my favorite meals to have because it's super clean and it's super simple and it's super yummy. So that is what I'm having tonight for dinner and that completes day 19. I will see you tomorrow. All right guys, so it is day 20 of September OMAD and it is about four o'clock right now. I'm about to make my protein coffee, the same thing that I've had uh, with the Premier Protein Chocolate Shake, my ice cream sandwich, sundae coffees, some unsweetened almond milk and a splash of heavy cream and I'm about ready to have that. Today wasn't really bad, I didn't really have a hungry day, I just have moments of hunger throughout the day and you just gotta push through them because you will. You, you're not gonna stay hungry for the entire day. Your body's going to adjust to it. You just gotta push through. So I had two iced coffees earlier as well. I had a Rocky Road Sunday coffee this morning and then an ice cream sandwich this afternoon. And so about to make my protein coffee now and then we'll be eating dinner in about a couple hours. So what I plan on making tonight is chicken and asparagus. So here it is uh, what I'll be eating tonight. Some chicken breast. I always season my chicken with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika, and I cook it in olive oil. And for my asparagus, I also season that with salt and pepper and cook that in olive oil as well. And I don't cook it too long uh, because I want it to be still firm, just so I have that like crunch to it. Oh, I just, I love asparagus so much, so good. And it's so good for us too, even though it makes our peas smell weird. <sighs> Anyway, so that is what I'm having for dinner tonight. Super simple, chicken and asparagus, and I'll be ready to eat, I know it. But right now, gonna make my protein coffee, and I will see you tomorrow for day 21, the end of week three. Hmm. Hey guys, so day 21 of OMAD, and I am getting ready to cook dinner. Today I did the same thing for my coffees. I had three iced coffees, Rocky Road in the morning, and two ice cream sandwiches. My third one was a protein coffee with the Premier Protein Shake. I did have a few baby carrots uh, about a half hour ago, and we are getting ready to cook dinner tonight. And again, I'm trying something new. I have been trying like so many uh, different new recipes this month. So tonight I am making low carb ranch chicken burgers. Looks very interesting. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. All right, so you're gonna need Need one pound of ground chicken, one cup of cheddar cheese shredded, a third cup of bacon uh, cooked and crumbled, two tablespoons of low carb ranch seasoning. I went ahead and made my own. Um, I will put the link to the recipe down below. Two tablespoons of olive oil and that is for the chicken burgers. So for the creamy barbecue sauce, you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter, a half an onion chopped. I totally forgot to get an onion, so. <laughs> 
darn it, that'll be out. One cup of heavy whipping cream, a quarter cup of sugar-free barbecue sauce. G Hughes barbecue sauce is bomb the best so that's what we're using tonight and then another tablespoon of the ranch seasoning so let's go ahead and make the chicken burgers All right, so I'm going to try it. I'm, I took two chicken burgers. I don't know if I'm gonna eat both of them, um, but let's go ahead and try it with the cream sauce, the creamy sauce. All right. Oh yeah, it's one, mm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, That's eight, different. Nine, That's different. What? It's like a whole bunch of different flavors all together, barbecue and ranch and mm, with the bacon and I'm so glad I had the onion. That's really good. Yum. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and join my support group on Facebook. I would love to see you there. All right guys, I will see you at the next video, which should be my results video on Wednesday. <sighs> Have a great week. <laughs> Stay safe and choose health. Bye guys.